differently. Let's welcome in now Mark Klein. He's the president of the Zionist Organization of America. Also with us, the executive director of Iranian Americans for Liberty, Newsmax insider Brian Lee. Mark, Brian, great to have you both with us. You know, there was a lot of information there from Daniel's report, but I want to talk first uh, about the, uh, you know, the Iranian deal and what we're seeing uh, in, in uh, Vienna right now. Uh, everyone kind of saw this coming. We, we, we get some confirmation from the French ambassador here to the U.N. They're, they're reaching the end of the road. This was a fool's errand in the first place. Was it not, more? Uh, absolutely. Iran had no interest in uh, slowing down or stopping their movement toward uh, developing nuclear weapons. They haven't allowed inspections in the military facilities since day one. That's likely where all the work is being done. Now they're doing cameras in one facility, but they're not going to share what the, the cameras show. Uh, and all they're talking about is sanctions. They're only focusing uh, on sanctions. They're already enriched uranium to 63 percent. The JCPOA, the deal, allows them only to 3.67 percent. They're up to 63 percent, very close to developing nuclear weapons. And remember, they still have a deal with five European countries they have a, a deal with, and they're violating it left and right. And European countries are doing very, very little uh, about this. So their interest is moving forward. And I've talked to military officials in both Israel and America, and they, uh, the Israeli officials tell me they don't think America is serious about stopping Iran from getting nuclear weapons. Uh, and a proof of that is they're delaying these uh, refueling planes to Israel, which Israel yeah. needs to attack uh, Iran. They're not selling them uh, important bunker busting bombs. Uh, so I am deeply frightened about this administration not taking seriously this the world's largest terrorist regime in developing nuclear weapons. They have funded over 80 percent of the Islamic terrorism in the world, and they have been developing intercontinental missiles which can reach America with, with a nuclear warhead. This is dangerous to the United States of America. And the Biden administration is not taking this seriously. They seem to be more supportive of Iran than they are of Israel and even American interests. 